All right, welcome back everybody. This is XL Tactical and thank you guys for joining me on another video. As you guys can see there, the title of this video and that range time footage that you just got to see, uh, it was a fun day. Fun day of shooting, fun day of training. Got out there, uh, continue to do that. And uh, again, I'm going to bring you what I've mentioned to you for this month of March, uh, product highlight. Where we're going to be talking about another nice product from Palmetto State Armory. I'm a big fan. I continue to buy their products. I think their budget, I think their quality, I think they pass on a lot of the savings on us to end user. Um, so what you saw there was my uh, uh, newest or back then was my newest product that I had, I had gotten. Um, since then we've had a lot of updates to laws and things and all these different things that have been going on. Pistol braces have been up in the air, there's deadlines, there's this, what are you going to do? SBRs, all this different stuff. I don't know. If you want to get more information on that or you want to give your insight on that, go down in the comment section. I'd like to take, get to see what your, your take on that is. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. It's that little button down there. It's free. It helps us out tremendously. Hit that like button and click the notification so you can stay up to date when videos like this are released. But let's move on. Product at hand here is the Palmetto State Armory. Uh, this is two pieces together. Um, I had a lower and I, I paired it up with this particular upper uh, together. The lower is a PX9 uh, HBPDW, Honey Badger uh, PDW. Uh, back then they were still available. You can still get them. Uh, very nice brace. Not going to be getting too much into that so YouTube doesn't talk too much about it. But I will showcase the whole firearm. But, um, you know, again, enjoy it for all its glory. Let me know if you have something like this available or what you had before. With all this pistol brace nonsense, did you have this? Do you have it? What are your plans on keeping it? I'd like to know down in the comment section. But let's flip this over down to the table review so I can tell you what, it, what it's about. All right, guys. So here we are back at the tabletop, right? Uh, first, like I said, we are dealing with a safe uh, firearm. It is empty. No mags nearby that have ammo. These are all empty and there is no ammo nearby. So how did this fit my collection? Well, as you guys have seen or not seen, this is my PSA dagger, the Compact S. It's a full size grip, holds 17 round mags, um, and they are uh, after a Glock 19 clone. So it takes regular Glock magazine, OEM Glock magazines. Uh, since I train a lot with it, I figured I want to get something that pairs up well if I did want to travel with this or if I wanted to put this in my in my car or wanted to go with a backpack with it, I know that I have interchangeable mags that I can use with it. This particular setup does take Glock magazines. I'm going to go through it uh, on the upper and the lower. I'm going to tell you some of the things that I like, some of the things that I don't like, and tell you some of the specs and features as far as uh, that come in with this. So let's start with the upper. Upper is a four inch upper. The barrel length is four inches. Uh, it does have Picatinny, the length of the, the rail here, uh, which was really nice. It does have M-Lock slots on the three, six, and the nine, uh, two on each side. Um, one of the pros is that it has those M-Lock rails. One of the cons is, realistically, I didn't come to notice until after that since I have a four inch barrel, the barrel ends here. I have a forwarding device, which is really nice. This device allows the concussion and the blast to be diverted away from the shooter, which is a plus, a very good pro. The con is the diameter of this gets really close to these M-locks, so makes these M-lock rails uh, on the front almost null and void. I had a hard time putting this little Arsica stop here um, for I, so I can index for my, my fingers. I didn't want to uh, shoot off these digits, so I wanted somewhere I can reference. So it was kind of hard to get that in there. I didn't want the screw to be touching the, the barrel and impact um, accuracy on it. But these M-locks in the back are still very much accessible. It's a free floating handguard. Um, and as I've shot it quite uh, some time, it does not get warm enough that I feel that, you know, I'm gonna get scolded or burned from it. As we move down to the back, uh, let's talk about the lower. Uh, this particular lower was your regular PSA PX9 Honey Badger PDW uh, complete lower. 
Um, at the time of the filming of this video, I still have uh, time before I can decide what I'm gonna be doing with this brace. Do I remove it? Do I destroy it? Do I send it back to the Alphabet Boys? Or do I make this an SBR? Let me know down in the comment section what you guys should do. Um, this lower was a complete lower. It does have an enhanced trigger, which I found was really nice. Uh, breaks very easily, resets uh, even easier after, the, after that. Uh, trigger guard is quite open, so that if you wanted to uh, run this while you're wearing gloves, it feels comfortable. Has a magazine release here on the right-hand side, which uh, I can index and get to quite well, uh, and drops those magazines freely. Uh, standard uh, bolt release, right? Safety selectors, regular uh, mil spec. It did come with the Magpul grip, which has that rubberized grip, which feels really nice in hand, very comfortable when you're shooting. It does come with the storage compartment at the back. And then the big thing about it and why I wanted to get this was around the compact uh, compactability of, of this lower, right? The brace does compact very small. It is the Honey Badger uh, PDW brace. Uh, it has a QD mount on both sides, so you can run a sling on this. And it has two positions. That's one, and that's the other. This little button, which allows it to be deployed, has some knurling on there so you can easily find it. And it's easy to actuate and close and make it compact again. Uh, you know, before we, we, we had all this stuff with the pistol brace, this was meant to give you some support. You didn't really have to shoulder this. You can put your cheek on this and, and run this safely. Does now making this a more lethal uh, pew? I don't think so, but again, that's for the comment section below. Um, it did come with your mil spec charging handle. I've changed that since then to an ambi controlled. It does come with your standard nine millimeter blowback design uh, bolt. A um, couple of the cons that I do not like, right, is I didn't know this before, and it must have been my mishap of not reading it. This does not come with a last round bolt hold open, which I felt that I wish that it could have come with. Um, um, again, con is you lose some of the M-lock rails up here, but you know, I'll give and take for, for, for what it's worth. Um, weight on this is not uh, heavy enough. It is a little heavier than your regular mil spec uh, or back when we were able to get pistol braces. It is a little bit heavier than your normal um, pistol brace. Uh, I do like the way the machining is. It pairs up well. You don't see a lot of contrast between, we don't, you don't see any contrast between the upper and the lower. The fact that you're able to run any kind of uh, standard Glock mags and they drop easily is a huge plus, right? You have the 15, your 17, your 27s for reference. You can use your fun sticks. And if you run drums, that's something that, that uh, tickles your pickle, then you can go ahead and do it. Um, I do currently have this as a budget build. I'm currently reviewing a Siley T3 optic. If you guys have seen that before, they're pretty nice optics. Um, under 60, 70 bucks. I followed some advice from 704 Tactical. If you haven't subscribed to that guy's channel, do so. You're gonna save a lot of money for yourself. Um, quite nice optic that pairs up with this well. Um, so that's how it came to be. You know, I, I'm trained with this a lot. I stand by PSA products. I do think that they make quality products that, that run good and are reliable. They both come with a lifetime guarantee in case it ever does happen to have that you need to service these, they will take care of you. Fortunate for me, I have not had to have that advice. Uh, that is this. Let me kind of wrap this up and tell you what my final thoughts are on it. So here we are guys, again, final thoughts. Is this the right fit for you? Do I destroy this brace? Is this something that you would add to your collection? I'm intrigued to find out what your thoughts are. Um, one thing that I can say as I, as I highlight some of this product, PSA does make some great stuff. Uh, I find it fun to shoot. I find it reliable to shoot. I find that it fits uh, a niche that I'm looking for. Um, and that's really what anybody that goes out and uh, shoots any pews is really uh, looking to find. Uh, my thoughts are on it. I like it. Will I make this an SBR? Will I get rid of the brace while we figure out what is going to be going on with all these laws, the alphabet boys uh, figuring out what they want to do? Does that make it a more lethal pew? I don't think so. But again, don't listen to this guy. I don't know what, what I'm talking about. 
Um, again, if you've already subscribed, thank you guys very much. If you're enjoying this type of content, make sure to hit that like button. Uh, share it with your friends. Uh, but until next time, I'll see you guys later. Oh, 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 o